Today we will discuss some interesting facts about Dune. Adapting Dune for the big screen has been a lifelong dream of Denis Villeneuve ever since he learned about David Lynch's Dune, 1984, from the magazine's Fantastic Films and Starlog, and read Frank Herbert's novel when he was around 12 years old. He wanted to make a faithful adaptation, so he waited until he'd done sci-fi films Arrival, 2016, and Blade Runner 2049, 2017, first so that he would have sufficient experience in the genre before starting work on Dune, 2021. In fact, scenes from his prior films are strongly influenced by his interpretations of scenes from the novel. Composer Hans Zimmer is a big fan of the novel Dune, and turned down working with frequent collaborator Christopher Nolan on Tenet, 2020, to score this film. Denis Villeneuve saw Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, Stellan Skarsgård, as a rhino in human form, and so Skarsgård had to spend seven hours a day applying makeup for his role as the Baron. David Lynch, director of the previous Dune, stated that he has zero interest in Dune, 2021. He cited that his issues with the new movie have nothing to do with director Denis Villeneuve but with his own painful memories of making the 1984 version, because it was a heartache for me. It was a failure and I didn't have final cut. I've told this story a billion times. It's not the film I wanted to make. I like certain parts of it very much, but it was a total failure for me. This film sports a distinctly Arabic theme, in keeping with author Frank Herbert having used Islamic culture as an influence for his story. In Dune, 1984, all the Harkonnen were depicted as red-haired. In this movie they are all depicted as bald. Denis Villeneuve's first film to be shot on large format cameras and with Panavision lenses. The plot of the full 155 minutes of this movie is told in 98 of the 137 minutes of the original Dune, 1984, and in 104 of the 270 minutes of the miniseries Dune, 2000. 